What's up guys? I'm Chris. This is my husband Aaron and we are full-time RVers. For the last two years we've been torturing ourselves with not having blackout curtains or covers in our van. This summer we put a change to that and we made our own blackout curtains for the back windows and the bedroom in the back and it's truly changed our lives in here. It's been great for boondocking, for like parking lots, for the temperature, the heat and the cold completely blown away. So that got me searching for our front and side windows and I noticed on Amazon one day a good looking set for a decent price. And the company on there was called Van Essential. And after looking at their website and checking everything out, it looked pretty good. So we reached out to Van Essentials and asked for a little demo kit to be sent to us in exchange for an honest review. Our criteria for these window covers are they need to be insulated. After discovering what we discovered with our back uh, insulated curtains, that's a must. Blackout is a huge deal. What we have right now just doesn't cut it. They also need to be easy to set up, preferably with magnets so that they kind of just, you know, click onto the windows or, you know, the fronts. They, they need to be easy to set up. Everything we do in a van takes time to set up and tear down and the easier, the better for sure. Storage is also a huge deal for us. They need to be, you know, somewhat compact, somewhat light, somewhat flexible so we can find a good storage solution for them. Mm -hmm. And they need to look good. As much as you see Reflectix out there, I'm sure it works really well, but I just don't want big shiny tinfoil Reflectix in all of our windows. It looks a little DIY-ish. Yeah, well, a lot of it is DIY-ish. And I think because it works and it's mm -hmm. inexpensive, it's, it's a good option. You know, we're not a stealth van. We are, we're in a 2014 Airstream Interstate, you know, Class B or camper van, if you want to call it that. And we hit the year cutoff where the year after they come with a kit for the front and the side windows. Mm. Um, our year, they come with this sheet. And the sheet has, I think, two good things going for it. And that's it. One is it's compact, like it you know, goes into a, a small sheet size and it's easy to set up. It's, it's fairly quick. Although it did take us a couple of months <laughs> we did have <laughs> how to, to figure it out for the first two months in this van. We had no idea how to work this thing. That's true. And then you finally figured it out and it works good. Like you said, it folds up, it tucks out of the way, but you know, now that Aaron's been looking at some other options and some, yeah. some sexier options, this sheet has become kind of an annoyance every time we look at it, it feels kind of cringy but it's really the function of it that doesn't work well it, it's not insulated it literally lets like light you know a good couple inches so if somebody were to be standing right next to our window like you could peep right through the window if you wanted to <laughs> and it doesn't uh it doesn't like block the sun out or the or the uh the cold out either you know and it does make our space feel smaller because it hangs straight down from here like there's a lot of just openness that we could gain yes if it were fitted so that's our dilemma that's our problem and hopefully it's all going to be solved so let's get this thing opened up take a quick look at it so excited so this is the eight piece full kit and that's going to include the front windshield, the two side windows, the crew window, the sliding door window, and the two back windows. So let's pop this open. All right, so it looks like everything kind of comes in its own packages. Here's a closer look at the packaging. It just comes in a bag. And then this is its own little drawstring bag for each piece. So that's kind of nice to kind of keep it, keep it clean, organized and have its own pouch. It looks like it's the same material in the bag and into the product. So these are an insulated material. You can feel like the, the foam inside. They're pretty rigid. The inside has kind of this, this cool design to it. I think it's called a, a rip stop, like diamond design. And then the side that goes to the outside is completely black, which 
I like. That makes it look, you know, a little more stealthy. Although we're not very stealthy in a camper van, it still looks a lot cleaner than shiny Reflectix. So let's throw this thing up. So this screen material we have up here is a solar material, which we just kind of made ourselves with magnets. This is something we did a year or two ago. But what we like about this is it blocks some of the sun, uh, but it allows you to look through it. And from the outside though, it is like a more of a privacy screen. So we got the idea from the big class A's that have these things come down on the windshield. And we really do like that. So we're hoping the new covers um, will work with these up. So these will be up during the day and then the new window covers will be in at night. But if not, you know, these just snap in, won't be a big deal to swap them out, but we're hoping that they all work together simultaneously, right? That's right, that's the goal. Okay. The mirror uh, is magnetic in here. So those kind of snap together, that's interesting. And I don't think anything else is magnetic. I think the front uh, window screens are just kind of held in by this. So I'm going to see what happens here. And there's probably a technique to this, <laughs> I would imagine. And he mentions that they're gonna be kind of stiff at first. And then once you use them for a couple weeks, they kind of loosen up. So that'll be something good for us to keep note of how they uh, kind of handle over the next couple weeks. Just tuck that in. It looks really nice. Does it look good from back there? It looks really good from back here. Cool. You didn't even need to use the toggles at all. Um, I don't think so. It's so tight up there. Um, these are just designed to like help even more, but you know, there's no light going through and these do a good job. So fits like a glove. So side windows come in their own bag, which is nice again. Keep everything tidy. And so these are like the, the magnetic ones. So because it's going to be going on the, the side, the metal door. And once again, I'm hoping they fit over top of this. And hopefully the magnets don't like repel each other. We'll find out. Same kind of material. You can feel the magnets are sewn into uh, the material up here. They're kind of a square. Sewing looks pretty good. No weird smell to them. It smells new. <laughs> cool. So it does stick over top of our other ones, which I'm stoked about. And I love it. A little bit harder to do with the door closed, but I think that's just because the material is kind of stiff. And maybe because we have our screens under. Yeah, that doesn't help either. It just, it gives the, the interior of the van like a whole different look. Are you smiling back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm smiling really big. It, yeah. looks, it looks a lot nicer and it, it's hard to tell because we're catching some sun from here but it got totally darkened up there. It feels like, dark up totally there. It's totally blacked out up there. Yeah, it definitely feels dark. With the exception of that. Um, yeah, I'll pull uh, this screen off and then we'll put the other side in. Yeah. This will be a good um, show of kind of how the light comes in and out or it gets blocked out.
and they are a little stiff from the factory. I can kind of feel that, so it'll be really interesting to see how they how they kind of uh, loosen up a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to use them for a couple of weeks and then do another showing of how they change. Yeah, because it can be tricky because you just have this little tiny magnetic bit to to hit. And then the magnets are like strong, so they're attached on the bottom. I'm excited about the thermal <laughs> properties of these things too. Um, but yeah, you're right. This is gonna add us so much like space in here. It's gonna be great. I'll show you what they look like from the outside. And here's what they look like from the outside. Uh, nice reflection. But that's the black tint and the black cover so we'll have to do this at night but that's what's cool about them is that they just the black instead of having like a reflectix and something shiny and it just gives you a nice nice dark color how's it looking in here it looks a lot better you know what i really like it's really dark like so here's the thing when we're sitting at night, we like to put on a little mood music. Yeah, that's true. And this is how we navigate it, because we don't have our music on an app or anything yet. I'm sure we could do that, but at this point, we're just manually doing it. And when that sheet hangs down, my access is blocked. So right away, this is open. Another thing that we do every single day is I store my coffee cup up here, and Every morning, I have to like contort up around the sheet and get it. Just little things that I store up here. Now we can grab a lot easier. So I am really excited. I don't normally get excited about gadgets and things, but this one is beautiful and functional. So I'm digging it. Yeah, well, something that we're going to use every single day and something that kind of changes how we live or gives mm -hmm. us a better value of of time and life and living in a van I mean like it's a little things like this yeah. that uh, that kind of just make you smile so and I'm appreciating these little upgrades more and more because we lived in here for so long until we did this stuff and now it's like oh it just makes your way of living way better so for us the crew window um, it might not fit because we have these um, blinds in here and this is what our other blinds used to look like you can see they're very um, opaque and you can see light through so it's a day shade and then a night shade but they are not blackouts at all very pretty translucent yep and then our sliding window is kind of um, a unique design with this big cabinet here so that also may not fit on our sliding side, but we kind of knew that. Uh, but the back windows is gonna be another thing that we're very uh, excited about. So we have the thermal curtains back there, but this is gonna be another layer to protect those giant windows um, from the, the heat and the cold. So let's throw those on and check them out. So the back window kits, I'm assuming are going to be kind of similar to the front doors and same kind of velcro strap nice so these are also going to be a left and a right That's a good fit. That's a nice fit. So we had to also remove our uh, factory kind of window shades that we had back here. This was all covered up with plastic and had small window shades. So we removed these and we love it. We love the big windows. So most uh, sprinters that are not uh, class B's or camper vans have their windows like this. So I would think these are like a must have kit because these windows are so big. They leak so much cold and air and heat into them um that's pretty cool all right well hopefully that wasn't too rambly but 
we are truly excited. This is kind of like a Christmas and a bunch of presents that we're setting up in our van. Um, but we're going to use these like we normally do every single day, put them up at night, take them down in the morning, and we're going to come back in a few weeks and really see how we like them, you know, in more of a long term review. Speaking of Christmas, here we are almost two months later, actually over two months later, getting close to the holidays here. And we have been using these uh, shields covers every single day since then. So we talked about kind of the five points that we, you know, really wanted to get out of these things. And so we'll just give our long term quick review on what we thought. Point number one, they need to be insulated. And these are insulated covers and they work really well. So most of your heat and cold escapes or comes through the windows, and especially in a van like we have where it's windows all the way around, uh, we really needed something like this. I know like when you go into the grocery store and it's like a super sunny, hot day, I'll even throw up this windshield cover here because otherwise the van just heats up Yeah. super quick. Like on, you know, if it's 80 degrees outside and that sun's coming through. Yeah. Um, so it works really well in that aspect. When I'm sitting right here working, I leave these up. Otherwise, it's a like an incubator up here. Yeah. So that helps like just comfort throughout the day. Obviously, I'd like to have window viewage, but when it comes between a view and temperature control, yeah. I choose to be comfortable. So That's I do leave you, them up. You need to pick and choose your windows. So like yeah. if the sun's coming, you know, this way through this window, you can drop that one or you can drop this. If the sun's coming through the front windshield though, you definitely want to keep that up as much as possible. Um, and then into the, the cold weather, they help a ton with the cold weather too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While we're sleeping, the nights have been a little chilly lately. So like I can definitely tell if we don't have them up for whatever reason that might be, I can tell if they're up or they're not up. Yeah. So insulation. Check. Give it a point. Second point that we needed to make sure that they hit was blackout. They need to be completely blackout, not like our side window here or our previous windows that we had in our back bedroom. They need to be blackout. And these certainly do that. They are 100% blackout. And it, you know, if you really want to take that extra second to like shove in the, the corners, um, like you get every little crack and you can kind of really, really black it out. So if you're just at a campground like we are, uh, you know, you pop it up and if there's a little bit of crack, it's not a huge deal, but you can completely black these things out. Yes. Check. The next point is they need to be easy to set up. And if you saw in the beginning, it took me about 45 seconds my very first time to like <laughs> put this front windshield up, which wasn't a long time, but now, and you kind of get a better technique once you've done it before. You just want to make sure you throw the whole thing up. The bottom is all in there. You kind of saw me before where I only got half of it up there, but once the bottom's in, the top just kind of pops around. And then that's where these go right down. And just like that, it's so much quicker to, to put it up than like the very first time. So, um, and you can see they're a little bit more, there's like fiberglass rods that go down here. So that holds the structure up um, while it's still, you know, loosened up a little bit with the material. It's like 10 seconds. It literally, you know, I mentioned that there's probably a trick to it. There is, you need to put the bottom of the windshield in first and then pop up the top and it goes in pretty slick. It's just, sometimes it's big, yeah. you kind of gotta- You learn your, you learn your, mo your movement yeah. Your muscle memory remembers it and then it just is super simple and they do loosen up a bit. So between all that, they are in like a snap. The next point is storage. And this is where not really due to its fault, you know, you can't give it a full point because they are bigger than what our previous uh, setup was but that's just what it's gonna be. They are a little bit bigger of a form factor and there's really just no way around it. It's definitely worth the trade-off of having a little bit bigger device and having it work way better. They do get a partial point though for the way that they're 
um, folded to collapse on themselves. Yeah. It is a nice clean fold, which I really like. And then those straps are nice. Like you can tell they did make it as streamlined as possible. Yep, absolutely. And you know, if you're in a camper van like we are, a lot of the windows have built in shades. If you're in like a, a build out sprinter where you're gonna use the whole set, you know, that's just something to consider. If you do have to use seven or eight of these, you know, you're gonna have to consider storage yeah. for them or mount them kind of permanently to the wall where they just kind of fold down and, and fold yeah. back up. And the very last point, I said earlier in the video that these need to look good and I shouldn't have been so shallow. They don't just need to look good, they need to be good. They need to they really need to perform. <laughs> they need to perform and be a quality material. Um, and so, and that's kind of what this long term endurance test, you know, is on these where we've used them every single day and the threads are not ripping out. The Velcro still works. Um, you can kind of tell a product right away if mm -hmm. it's going to just kind of be junk, if it's not manufactured well, if it's not using high quality or premium materials, mm -hmm. you know, that stuff kind of like falls apart in a month and you can just kind of tell that it's not going to last long term. Yeah. I can't say anything with these that I've noticed is, is different. So they did soften up a, a little bit yeah. after using them, just more flexibility, but um, I can't say anything like negative about the quality of them. They look brand new still. So that's good. Point, check. So we are gonna give these things 4.5 out of five stars. That's not bad. In an unofficial rating. Was that a 90%? I don't know, yes. it's good. So but in all serious, we really do like these. Um, we use them every single day. So if you have questions about these or you're considering getting them, check the links down below for current pricing. We'll have them linked to the Amazon store and also to Van Essential website. And if you have questions, we'll be happy to answer them. We are currently using these and we are going to continue using these for sure. Yes. Yes. So happy to have them. So thank you, Van Essentials. Um, it really is exactly what we were looking for and we love them. So thanks again for checking out this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you feel like it, and we'll see you on the next video. We've been sliding since I don't remember